As you crest the top of Orion's lift hill, you dive down your 300-foot, 85-degree drop and reach your max speed of 91 miles per hour. You bottom out and rise up into a large overbank curve that gives some nice hang time. You unbank but continue to drop to the ground as you bottom out and fly up into this strange turnaround that gives some sideways airtime at the peak. You stay heavily banked as you drop to the earth but quickly switch directions as you rise up into a small speed hill that gives great ejector airtime. The airtime doesn't last long though as you are pushed back into your seat as you rise up into a big floater hill that gives very mild floater airtime. You get sent upwards as you hit a 360 degree helix that is really forceful and overall really fun. You drop to the ground and get a great head chopper with the drop and a support that holds it up. You then fly up into a banked hill that drops you near the ground that gives great ejector airtime into one final hill right into the brakes. Orion is a B&M giga coaster that opened at Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. This new for 2020 beast shattered everybody's expectations including mine. I went into Orion thinking it would be a fun ride but nothing too special. I ended up riding one of my all-time favorite steel coasters. Before I get into the categories, let's talk about Area 72, the section of Kings Island that Orion is located in. Area 72 used to be known as X-Base until Orion opened. This name change really helped out the area, giving it a great facelift. X-Base used to be a very dull area with only Flight of Fear and Firehawk. No restaurants, no restrooms, no nothing. Orion and the name change brought in a brand new restaurant called the Meteor Canteen and a brand new set of family bathrooms. It also added a repaint to a few old and existing buildings as well as some new theming added around Flight of Fear in the area as a whole. Now let's get into the categories. Let's start with presentation. Orion is located in the Area 72 section of Kings Island, which is pretty much at the back of the park. Once you make it back to Area 72, you are greeted with a giant blue giga coaster as well as a giant box that houses Flight of Fear. However, in between those is a whole bunch of space theming that really sets the mood for the ride and area as a whole. Orion's entrance plaza is really well themed as well. Honestly, it kind of makes you feel like you're about to board an aircraft and journey into outer space. Space. Kings Island really outdid themselves with the overall presentation of Orion, so I would be crazy to give it anything other than a 10. Now let's move on to the name, logo, and theme. In my opinion, the name Orion isn't very good. I understand that the theme is that you are venturing into the Orion constellation due to a meteor shower making Earth unlivable. In all honesty, I cannot think of another name that Kings Island could have gone with for this very specific theme, so I am going to cut them a little bit of slack. Orion's logo is very very simple, very modern, and honestly one of my favorites. I am a big fan of the very modern yet extremely simple design. The theming for Orion really blew me away. Throughout the overall queue, pre-show building, and station, there is something to look at. Cedar Fair could have given Orion no theming whatsoever and nobody would have bat an eye. However, they went really above and beyond to put some awesome theming to this giga coaster. Overall, for these three categories, I will give Orion a 9.5 out of 10. The only small detractor is the name. Now let's get into the ride experience. You board into one of three 32 passenger trains that are provided by the Swiss manufacturer B&M. You buckle your seatbelt and pull down your B&M clamshell that is very comfortable and allows for room for airtime. You dispatch out of the station and start ascending up your 287 foot tall lift hill at a very fast speed. Once you get to the top, however, you slow down and slowly roll over the top. What follows is a very smooth, fun, and fast-paced ride that nearly everybody in the family will love. There is no theming during the ride, but since you are traveling at such fast speeds, you don't really notice it, so I think that it's okay. Overall, for ride experience, I will give Orion a 9 out of 10. Now let's talk about restraints. Orion has the comfortable, classic, and universally loved B&M clamshell restraints. It also has a seatbelt, but as said earlier, that does not detract from the ride experience. The seats themselves, however, are also extremely comfortable. You will find no discomfort in these seats, restraints, or trains as a whole. In all honesty, I don't really have anything negative to say about these restraints, so of course, I'm going to give Orion a 10 out of 10. Now let's talk about intensity. Orion is not very intense, but it was not built or made to be, so it is perfectly okay. There are three main moments of intensity throughout the ride. The bottom of the first drop, the valley in between the speed hill and the big floater hill, and the 360 degree helix. 
All three of these moments provide a good dosage of positive g-forces. I would love to give Orion a higher score for this category, but unfortunately I just can't, so Orion will be receiving a 7. Our final category is the length. Orion is 5,321 feet long. That might not give you a good description, so let me go in depth a little bit more. When Orion was announced back in August of 2019, plenty of coaster enthusiasts got disappointed in how short the ride was, but after riding it, I can actually say that Orion doesn't feel short at all. It actually feels like the perfect length. For length, I will give Orion an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, I guess they could have made the coaster longer, but the layout that it has now is still awesome. Before I give Orion a final score, I just want to say some overall thoughts. Orion is an absolutely fantastic roller coaster, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise until you actually ride it. From the outstanding first drop to the awesome theming in the queue line station pre-show building, the amazing restraints, the trains being absolutely beautiful, and the rest of the area as a whole, Orion is one of my all-time favorite roller coasters. And of course, for a final score, I'm gonna have to give Orion a 10 out of 10. Orion is an absolute world-class coaster, and I think that everybody watching this video should go out and try to ride it sometime soon. At the end of the day, those are just my thoughts on Orion, located at Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this 2020 B&M coaster. Anyways, I'll see you next time on Hang Time Thrills.